well, it's not a love poem, so if you're expecting a love poem, it's not a love poem. Um, and what it's about is, well, it's about this kid, right? And, uh, he hasn't fully grasped the concept of like romantic love. I'm not saying it's like based off me or whatever. It's probably not. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Uh, and then my pose. Well, I had a different pose, but like I thought of a different one right now. So uh, it would be cinema slash cliche. That's my pose. And the translation for that is cinema slash cliche. <laughs> Right. To the right. right. To the right. Not beyond. To the right. <laughs> Turn to the right. Ready, ready. Oh, other way. Other way. There. So. So I'm like. I'm like secretly romantic, secret. So like whenever I'm in public and I see that lovey dovey, I get mad sick. Like people probably say that I hate love with a passion. Burning Nicholas Sparks books. Take the fault in the stars and smash it up into stardust. Kicking Jay and, Jay and Daisy over while I'm yelling, this is Sparta. Till they're in the ground with some flesh eating larva. I got St. Valentine rolling in his grave because I'm on an anti-love crusade. But remember, I said secret. So secretly, because seemingly, it seems like I'm on... I'm like, sorry. <laughs> seemingly, it seems like I'm out for love's demise, but really it's all an elaborate disguise. Because on the inside, it melts me away like an ice cream cone on a hot summer day. And I can't help but say I'm madly in love with these love cliches. It's a love I crave. A love story that's so cinematic. I long for that on-screen magic. Like when their heads are in the grass and they're holding each other's hands and they're looking in each other's eyes and there's birds in the sky. And <laughs> I love the song in the background and talking about the love that they found. Yes, yes. <laughs> so I guess um, let's talk about romance. I mean, never been one to slow dance, but I really like to hold hands. So if you have no plans, I like to be a blueprint. And I don't want to be a nuisance because I'm not really a romantic. But well, yeah, I kind of am, but when I put it into words, I lack wit, and you, you make me frantic. You make my heart do a backflip like it's trying to win gold in gymnastics. <laughs> and I attract like a magnet. It's a bad habit, but my feelings are legitimate. And I mistook you for an illiterate, because I never guessed you would have spelled it out, but you won first prize at the spelling bee, because you're more than elementary. So beautiful that angels call you heavenly. I crush easy like a centipede under a petite. <laughs> you make me feel like I just hit the jackpot. Just my luck. Feelings hit me hard like a ton of bricks on a ten car pileup. And you didn't just spark my inner rest. You lit a match then hit a. And you didn't just spark my inner wrist. You tipped a drum of gas, then lit a match and blew up my heart like Nakatomi Plaza. No. Now speaking as a naive romantic, Simo speaks exclusively in cheesy lines. Just for the record, I don't just speak exclusively in cheesy lines. What I'm trying to say is, you honestly blow my mind, and it's just really hard for me to find, find what to say, because whenever I see you, 
It always makes my day, and I miss you so much every time that you're away. And this is starting to sound like a bad cliche, so I really think you're rad, okay? <laughs> like, honestly, I'm just so lost in the thought of you and the hopes that someday you'll say, I love you, too. <laughs> So she said, I like you more as a friend. <laughs> okay, bye forever now. <laughs>